China is a country with a long history of bridge construction, boasting world-leading bridge construction technology. Centuries ago, China was recognized as a nation with top-tier bridge-building capabilities, earning the title, the country of bridges. In modern times, China has constructed many unprecedented bridges. Whether in terms of height, length, or technical difficulty, China's bridge technology has surpassed that of Western countries. Even the United States, home to some of the most developed countries in the world, has had to take a fresh look at China's bridge-building technology. It is no exaggeration to say that if the Chinese cannot build a bridge, then no other country in the world can. In today's video, we will explore some of the astonishing sea-crossing bridges built by China. If you find today's video interesting, be sure to subscribe to the Insider Truth channel so you won't miss any exciting videos. Now let's get into today's topic. This is the Donghai Bridge, China's first true seacrossing megabridge. The bridge spans a total length of 32.5 kilometers, with the main bridge stretching 25.3 kilometers and a width of 31.5 meters. The roadway on the bridge is designed as a six-lane highway allowing vehicles to travel at speeds of up to 80 kilometers per hour. What shocked Western engineers, however, was that the total investment for the project was only 7 billion yuan, with a construction period of less than three years. Compared to bridges of similar scale in the United States and Europe during the same period, the cost and time of construction for the Donghai Bridge were only half. In fact, the Donghai Bridge is not only China's first seacrossing bridge but also the longest seacrossing bridge in the world. It closely connects the port and islands of Shanghai's Pudong New Area, becoming a major transportation artery for the Shanghai International Shipping Center's Yangshan Deepwater Port. The Donghai Bridge plays a pivotal role in supporting regional development, both economically and in terms of tourism. However, it's worth noting that the design and construction of the Donghai Bridge showcased China's advanced technology in the field of bridge construction. During the construction of the Donghai Bridge, the bold construction methods of Chinese engineers were commendable. The workers not only built a 587-meter-long steel trestle bridge in the first shallow sea section of the Donghai Bridge. They also undertook the largest pre-assembled pier installation project at the time. With the commencement of the construction of the upper structure of the C section of the Donghai Bridge, they used the Little Swan with a lifting capacity of 2,500 tons to install a 70-meter box girder test frame. To prevent the piers from being eroded by seawater, Chinese engineers also adopted a special concrete pouring scheme. The new concrete was accurately poured into the piers through an inclined chute, significantly enhancing the safety of the piers. Even Japanese engineers were amazed by the series of engineering innovations of the Donghai Bridge. Now, this type of concrete material has been successfully promoted worldwide. After the Donghai Bridge was successfully completed and opened to traffic, China has built more bridges similar to the Donghai Bridge. Among them, the Zhoushan Cross Sea Bridge is also one of the famous masterpieces of Chinese bridge engineering. The bridge is 48.16 kilometers long and spans four islands, nine culverts, and two tunnels. In order to build this bridge, the Chinese government did not hesitate to increase the total investment to 13 billion yuan. After the Zhoushan Cross Sea Bridge was officially opened to traffic, it became one of the largest island continent connection projects in the world. In the next few decades, this bridge will provide important support for the development and transportation of Zhoushan Islands and become a local landmark. It is worth mentioning that in this world-famous project, Chinese engineers have achieved a number of engineering technology innovations. Among them, the diameter of the board piles on the number 5 main tower pier of the Zhoushan Cross Sea Bridge that was successfully poured reached 6.3 meters, making it the largest board pile in the world. You know, this was achieved in a complex sea area with a seabed depth of 30 meters, so the difficulty of construction can be imagined. This breakthrough technology allows the bottom of the bridge to stably resist waves and reduce the difficulty of subsequent construction. 
The breakthrough in board pile technology has given China greater confidence in facing more severe cross-sea projects. In addition to world-class technological breakthroughs in large-diameter board piles, the Chinese engineering team has also made technological progress in other aspects. In the bridge erection project, the Chinese engineering team developed technologies such as pile hydration heat control and acoustic wave detection to continuously improve construction accuracy and safety. In addition, in order to enhance the wind resistance of the bridge, the Chinese engineering team adopted a three-box separated steel box girder structure. At the same time, the design of the suspension cable coordination system also ensures the construction stability of the bridge. These innovative design and engineering methods ensure the stability and reliability of the Zhoushan Cross Sea Bridge and provide valuable experience for future bridge construction. But China is an infrastructure fanatic. Once they mastered the superb bridge building technology, it was impossible for them to stop building like crazy. Therefore, in the process of building the Zhoushan Cross Sea Bridge, Chinese engineers also built the famous Hangzhou Bay Cross Sea Bridge. This bridge spans the entire Hangzhou Bay, with a total length of an astonishing 36 kilometers. Due to the huge span of the bridge, a large amount of construction materials were used. According to statistics, the Hangzhou Bay Cross Sea Bridge project used a total of 2.45 million cubic meters of concrete and 820,000 tons of steel. Interestingly, if these materials were used to build the Golden Gate Bridge in the United States, then at least eight Golden Gate bridges could be built. Since the total investment of the project reached 13.8 billion yuan, it is also one of the bridges with the largest investment in Chinese history. After seven years of hard work, the Hangzhou Bay Cross Sea Bridge was successfully opened to traffic in 2008. During this time, engineers overcame unimaginable engineering difficulties. Since Hangzhou Bay is one of the three largest tidal bays in the world, the bay where the bridge is located is greatly affected by environmental factors such as hydrology, meteorology, and geology. The main manifestations are unfavorable conditions such as strong wind, large tidal range, strong current, deep scour, and strong corrosion. These complex conditions have brought various difficulties to construction, and the construction team can only carry out construction during periods when construction conditions are good. During the one-year construction period, the actual effective working days are only about 180 days. To minimize offshore work, Chinese construction teams prefabricated the bridge in factories and then transported it to the construction site. In terms of steel pipe pile manufacturing, the Hangzhou Bay Cross Sea Bridge has established an automated production line for the entire pile manufacturing of ultra-long, ultra-large, and variable wall thickness steel pipe piles. It uses a new anti-corrosion system based on high-performance molten epoxy coating, supplemented by cathodic protection. At the same time, by utilizing comprehensive countermeasures such as large ships, sledgehammers, and shipboard GPS systems, and relying on advanced and powerful equipment, we successfully solve problems such as steel pipe pile sinking, construction safety, and production efficiency in strong tidal waters. With the success of the Hangzhou Bay Cross Sea Bridge, Chinese engineers have gained more mature bridge construction experience. Following the completion of most of the Hangzhou Bay Cross Sea Bridge project, another great cross sea bridge in China also welcomed another bay in 2006, which is the Jiaozhou Bay Bridge. From the map, this bridge shortens the distance between Qingdao City and Huangdao District, Shandong Province. The total length of the project is 42.23 kilometers, of which the total length of the bridge is 31.630 kilometers. According to the project plan, the bridge deck is a two-way six-lane expressway with a design speed of 80 kilometers per hour. After the Jiaozhou Bay Bridge is officially completed and open to traffic, the travel distance between the two places will be shortened from more than 70 kilometers to more than 40 kilometers, and the driving time will be shortened from the original 1.5 hours to more than 40 minutes, which will provide convenience for residents on both sides of the Taiwan Strait to travel. But what deserves the most attention is the technology displayed by the construction team during the construction of this bridge. In terms of concrete structure, 
The Jiaozhou Bay Cross Sea Bridge adopts new concrete, temperature control technology and new low-stress tensioning technology, which basically solves the early cracking and durability problems of full-hole precast box girders. To solve this problem, engineers developed two gondolas with integrated central lifting frames, with lifting capacities of 2,500 tons and 3,000 tons respectively. With the help of these large gondolas, the construction team successfully solved the problem of box girder construction in strong tidal waters. More importantly, the Jiaozhou Bay Bridge conducted a systematic study on the durability of the concrete structure from the perspective of the overall structure. A complete set of technical documents including durability design, construction, quality monitoring and evaluation, and operation stage maintenance have been formulated, and a long-term durability monitoring system has been established. This also provides strong technical support for China to build bridges in other regions in the future. After experiencing the test of many large bridges, China's achievements in the field of bridges can be said to have attracted the attention of the world. However, China is not satisfied with this. In 2009, Beijing, China, officially announced the construction of an unprecedented cross-sea bridge, the Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge. As far as I know, the bridge is 55 kilometers long, of which the main bridge is 29.6 kilometers long. The other parts consist of a 6.7 kilometer undersea tunnel, a sea overpass and two large artificial islands. This scale has no precedent anywhere on Earth. After nearly 10 years of construction, the Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge was officially completed and opened to traffic in 2018. It is understood that the design speed of the bridge is 100 km per hour. The entire designed vehicle load level of the bridge and culvert is highway level. The total paved area of the bridge deck is 700,000 square meters. The navigation bridge and tunnel can pass 100,000 ton oil tankers in the near future and can pass in the long term 300,000 ton oil tanker. According to engineers, the design service life of the bridge is 120 years, and the seismic fortification intensity has been increased to 9 degrees. Even if it is attacked by a Category 16 typhoon and a 300,000 ton cargo ship, this epic bridge will remain unscathed.